just bought a new iPhone or shifted from Android to iOS and missing the use of that back button, then my friend, you are not the alone one. Well, hello guys, welcome back to our channel, Himanshu here. You're watching Get Assist and in this video, I'm here to resolve your problem of back button issues. So, let's get started. While swiping to go back, it's not always the most convenient thing especially when you are deep into an app or a web page. But hey, don't you worry because I've got a quick and easy solution for you. I'm going to show you how to create a virtual back button by using a built-in feature of your iPhone. It's simple, effective and almost works on every iPhone model. First of all, let's clear it up. There isn't any dedicated or official back button in your iPhones unlike those Android devices. iPhones rely on swiping gestures while navigating through apps or screens. And this can be really frustrating when you are used to use a physical back button. And we are going to mimic this function while using a feature called Assistive Touch. So first of all, head over to your settings, then go to Accessibilities. Here, under the Physical and Motor, toggle on the option Touch. The first option here is Assistive Touch. Just turn it on. Now, you can see a circular ball like thing on your screen which we have to customize according to our needs according to our android needs under the custom actions you can see the single tap of tap on it and select home so when you single touch on it you will be back to your home page similarly now go to the double tap option and select app switcher so whenever you toggle on it you can find the app switcher just like you change the multitasking on your android device it's not exactly the back button but it's the closest one to act as to mimic as the back button and it will give you the feel of getting back to home screen or switching the app just like you do on your android device and that's it it's a quick and simple way to add the back button functionality to your iphone using assistive touch and if you find this video useful and informative just hit the like button subscribe to our channel and comment down your thoughts or if you are facing any other problem or troubleshooting something we'll find it resolve it and i'll meet you in the next one